Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing the 15, releasing the squad and the draw for the 15, the Central Snakes today. Uh, we've done the Auckland Eagles, the Wellington Wolves, the Canterbury Crocodiles, the Otago Rhinos. Today we are doing the Central Snakes, the fifth to lean team, the second to last one. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe, go check out the second channel, link in the description, we're still trying to up those levels. So yeah, we'll get, we're going to get straight into it, straight into the thing. Uh, we'll, yeah, we'll have a look at the front row for the Central Snakes. In at loose head prop, we got Ben May, very big Ma big Ben May. He moved to Taranaki uh, this season, and he, he's been, he, he, I think he's injured, injured at the moment, but yeah. He moved to Taranaki, he signed with Coastal so he could play for Taranaki. But he's a very good player, very experienced, and it's good, and it'll be good to see what he can do in the squad. Number two, we got Ricky Riccatelli, plays for Taranaki as well, another Taranaki player, and plays for the Hurricanes, I believe. Um, another very good player. Ben May also plays for the Hurricanes. These two, very familiar with each other, playing for Taranaki together this season and playing for Harrigan, so they'll be very good. Uh, Erika Riccatelli, um, very good. Um, number three, your tight head prop, we've got Wyatt Crockett. A very, probably one of, yeah, he's, he's one of the most experienced player. Only player, I believe, to have a 200 Super Rugby cap, so I think, yeah, Super Rugby, is it Super Rugby or my cup? No, it is Super Rugby, yeah. Yeah, 200 Super Rugby caps for the Crusaders. That's a lot, man. That's a lot of games. Gee. How many years? Anyway, but... Yeah. Put up the statistic right now, though. Like, right here, right here. Put up the statistic. Because that is a lot, man. Anyway. Yeah, very good player there. Uh, coming into the second row, we got Quinton, a very strange pick, you could say. We got Quinton Strange at four. Dude, I actually love this man. I love his name because I like to joke around with him being strange because it's in the last name Strange. Yeah, very good player, and it'll be good to see what he can do in the Central Snake squad. Number five, your captain. Your captain for the Central Snakes. You've got Samuel Whitelock, if you're a good player. Everyone's been prob probably like, oh, we haven't seen Sam Whitelock yet, so we should be expecting him because he's not really a new player yet. Sam Whitelock, very good, very good. One of the best players. Uh, will we see him make another World Cup appearance? Probably not. 2023 seems like a long time away, but I think he's trying to get there, but... Don't see it happen, but yeah, very good player. It'll be good to see what he can do in the squad. Our number six, we got Locky, Bocky, Docky, whatever you want to call him. Lachlan, both Uh Very disappointed. We all are, uh, even him. He, that he's not over in Australia with the All Blacks right now. Yeah. Although, like I, I said this another time or something, um, personally, because you've got lots of players over there, like Duplessis Cariffi, for example, he's over there. It might be better if is not over there. But, like, personally, if I was the coach, I would have him over there playing. I reckon he's, like, decent enough to be there. But Ian Foster, if he had taken him with the wider squad, he probably wouldn't be playing over there. So at least he's here playing for, for Taranaki on Sunday, anyway. Um, Taranaki face Hawks Bay. Uh, spoiler, if you haven't seen, you probably have seen. But uh, they lost by one, 34-33. They just couldn't take the line outs at the end. But Lachlan got a head knock. They've got the final again, uh, semi-final as they face Hawks Bay next week. Good luck, guys. I hope you can do it. But, yeah, it's upsetting to them. I hope Lockie's doing all right, but... Yeah, he would, at least he's playing, so. Yeah, very good player, David, sucks. Number seven, we've got Dylan Hunt, a uh, very good player. And yeah, it'll be good. Seven, I think, yeah, it'll be good to see what he can do in this competition, and I'm looking forward, especially, to see what he can do. Number eight, we've got Akira Ioane, recently had his debut 
for the All Blacks, unfortunately, because of a red card to offer to him. Firstly, he only got about 20 minutes, uh, unfortunately. But he's a very good player, and it'll be good to see what he can do in the squad. Coming into the back line now, we have Mitchell Drummond at 9, at halfback. A very good halfback he is. He's always been kind of behind Bryn Hall for the Crusaders. And yeah. Uh, he's, he's still a very good player, um, and it, it will be good. He's a good halfback to have in the side, and yeah, it'll be good to see what he can do, taking on uh, some big names. At uh, number 10, we got Brett Cameron, a very, we've got 9 and 10, we've got John and Cameron. Very, very yeah, familiar faces with each other, these two, Brett Cameron, play for the Crusaders as well, plays for... Canterbury with them, so they're very good together, so it'll be, can, uh, Brett Cameron's a very good player, and it'll be good to see what he can do in the squad, <laughs> yeah, it'll be good to see what he can do. Okay, number 11, we've got Josh Mackay, Josh Mackay, another very good player, he, he's been, he bounced into the scene, he was, I never really knew who he was, but then he bounced into the scene, like last year, I said no, who he was, yeah, now he's a very good player, I feel like he's going to He's going to fit very well and he's going to play very well and I'm looking forward to see what he can do in this squad. Uh, number 12, we've got Raiden Enor at second receiver. Yeah, uh, another man that is... All these guys are familiar. I haven't done it this way. It just happened. Lots of these guys play for the Crusaders. you got Drummond, Cameron, Mackay, now Enor. Um, yeah, very good player, you know, it'll be good to see what he can do uh, in the squad. Number 13, we've got Quinn Tupai, plays for the Chiefs, and yeah, he's a very good player, plays for Waikato as well, he got yellow carded this weekend, I believe. Um, yeah, no, but a very for Waikato, but he's a very good player, and I'm going to be looking forward to see what he can do alongside, uh, but, you know, I feel like they're two very different players, so it'll be interesting to see. But I think they'll, I think they'll work pretty, pretty well together. I'm looking forward to seeing how they work together, and it'll be interesting. But I think they got it. Number fourteen, we got Sean Stevenson, another man that plays for the Chiefs, plays for North Hub, I believe. Um, but yeah, he's a very good player. He's very tall and lanky. I feel Sean Stevenson, but he is a very good player. And I'm definitely looking forward to see what he can do in the side. I feel like he's he's a he's a very big asset to the squad and he will be good on the wing. Uh number fifteen, rounding out your Central Snake squad, we've got another familiar face with these Canterbury boys. We've got David Harvey, very good, very good player. Um when I had drawn up this team, oh, I don't know why I'd drawn it up like this. I had Quintu Pye was playing on the wing. This was back in like March when Quinter Pine on the wing, Havili 12, Enor 13, Stevenson 14, Mackay 15. And I changed it and it's very better now with David Havili 15, mm, two by in the midfield, and Mackay on the wing. But yeah, David Havili, a very, very good player. He plays for Tasman and Crusaders. It'll be good to see what he can do in this side. I'm very looking forward to seeing what he can do. He he will be up against some pretty big names, but I feel like he's got it and he's been playing very well yeah, in the real world, so it'll be good to see what he can do. And yeah, that, that rounds up your Central Snakes side, your second to last team naming. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Make sure you do go check out the second channel um, next in a couple more days time we will be releasing the the last team which is the northern tornadoes team so it'll be interesting to see who kept them who's in the last team you got oh the 15 there's some people on and it's in and yeah it'll be interesting to see then only a week away guys friday night friday 20th of november not even that far away i'm very hyped for it Bro, it's, it, it's, it's come so quick around the corner. Make sure you do like and subscribe. We'll see you then. Peace.
get saucy No Valentine but my heart beat 